What is up everyone? This is Supersight and welcome back to another episode of Heyday. Now in this episode I will be doing a full uh, analysis on the sugar mill and I will be going over all the different uh, features and calculations around that. I also have more cal- this is going to be a very heavily uh, calculation skewed episode. Right, so we have our boat coming in, and I've completed my first two, I'm pretty sure. So this will be, yeah, I think I've completed two, and my last one ordered wheat, so that was good. Right, so they want carrots, pumpkins, uh, I'll re ask for help immediately with these two, because they're going to cost a lot, and I'll do that one, do that one, do that, oh, well, there we go, we leveled up, that is awesome, level 19, I did not see that coming, I just, like, Leveled up, right, so we have a, a sewing machine, we have a, a raspberry muffin, blue woolly hat, raspberries, raspberry butch, which is awesome because then I can use up my uh, axes, because I, I've got so many axes, I haven't sold any since I started playing Heyday, uh, th th this, yeah, right, and we've got the cotton shirt, we've got a gazebo, and a pavilion, and a rose fence equals white. Right, oh no, dot dot, right, right, so they must have uh, other coloured rose fences. And we unlock three more fields, which is really good. Right, so I'll just go through quick calculations. Right, so this one here, Raspberry Muffin, will make you 35.7 coins uh, unstarred. I'll just repeat that once more. So, uh, with no mastery stars on the bakery, well, like, not, it hasn't got three, that's what I mean by unstarred. That will make you 35.7 coins. The blue woolly hat will make you 32.4 coins, and you produce that in the loom. Uh, cotton fabric, which I unlocked last level, uh, will make you 43.2 coins. These are all unstarred. Uh, cotton shirt will make you 33.6 coins. And a raspberry bush in total will make you 352.4 coins, which is up from the apple tree, which only makes 301 coins. So they're the different things that I've unlocked, which is good, and I like the fields. The sewing machine, that will be cool, and I will unlock that. Right, so I'll do that, and I'll wait for those to go off, and I'll put carrots, and then I'll ask for the last one, because you're always trying to ask for as many as you can for help, which is three. Right, so we have a ton of trees, and as you can see, they're, they look like dead trees, but they're actually just trees that need reviving, and I save them, so that when I want people to help, like right now, I put that on, and then... If I advertise something in the newspaper, right, so fine, I'll advertise that. Then everyone will see uh, that thing next to my name and come zooming in to find me. Right, so here go our fields. We are seriously uh, in need of space, uh, more space, which will be coming at level 22. Is it 22 or 24? 22. Yep, right, so 22, that's when we get more help. So I will harvest all these pumpkins, loads and loads and loads of pumpkins, Right, so the XP is pouring in. Okay, we will do this and that and do this. Right, so we have got that growing. We have so many different things that are just, there's just so much going on in the farm right now. And and it's a really bad example because I haven't got almost all my animals unfed and I understand that. But when making uh, episodes and with a small barn and silo, it's just impractical to try and keep everything going while trying to uh, recite everything important in the video. So we have the Wheel of Fortune so far. I've got the uh, star, the jackpot, twice. Just single ones though. So nothing too major. Uh, so we got a cream. That's okay. Right. Nope. That's not right. Lost connection. Uh, good. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's not right. Okay, we will we'll redo that. And hopefully that will lead to me getting another spin and getting something other than cream. That will be cool if that happens. Right, so, yes, we get a free spin, but we will have lost that cream. So hopefully we get the jackpot instead. Uh, what's the chances we'll get cream again? <laughs> hey, we got cream again! I don't know if that's, like, rigged. I don't think it's rigged, but that was, yeah, we got cream again. Right, so it's loading again. It just had a little, uh, I don't know what it did. It didn't do something right, which made it, maybe it's my internet. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going straight back into it. And are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Really? I have to do this again? Like, seriously, that's annoying. That's really annoying. It, it like, reverses you back in time, like, a few 
second, uh, like, in that case, it would have been a couple of minutes. And then all my trees are back. That's ironic. Right, so let's see. Let's see. This will prove it if it's true. If I get a cream again, it will mean that it's, it's rigged. So hopefully I get something other than a cream, but it's so rigged. That is so, so rigged. Right, so I've got a cream three times in a row. So no matter how fast or slow you spin it, it's always going to give you the same thing. That is like something cool that I worked out. Uh, people have probably worked it out before, but now it's, that's proof. Three times in a row, and it always gives me the cream. So no matter how fast or slow or backwards or forwards you spin it, it's always going to, it's already worked out what you're going to get. Which is kind of sad because it's like, it's, yeah, but computers can't really be random. Anyway, and no way we got the wooden panels again. That's incredible. Right, have we done our boat? Uh, yes, we have, eh? And some people helped us out with that, and we will send it straight off right now to get, uh, we, we can get that, that bonus, but I don't really need the bonus. Anyway, that's a good chunk more XP, and oh, what do we need next? Right, raspberry. Oh, really? Raspberries? We just unlocked them. We can't get them growing in four hours. That's, that's bad. Oh, but then I will be able to request them from people, and I have plenty of sugar cane and cream. I, I'll be sure to make more cream. Right, and there we go. Okay, uh, no. And then we have to sell off everything again. Oh, well, that doesn't really matter. I will get onto the point of this video, which is all about the sugar mill, and I have actually got a mastery star for it. Uh, I, that just popped up once when I, I wasn't uh, filming, which was fine. So, where is it? There it is, the uh, awesome little uh, sugar mill. Right, so we have got our one and one star thing, which took, I'm not sure how many hours the first one took, but anyway, we're seven hours into the second one, which will be this one here. Now, the sugar mill, uh, as you know, has three products, brown sugar, white sugar, and syrup. Now, I really like the sugar mill, but the the sugar mill are uh, probably the the worst one of the machines that the most difficult to uh, keep running is the sugar mill because its highest product is only one and a half hours. Now you might say, "Whoa, that's a long time," but actually, it's really not because if you put three of those in, that's going to last you four and a half hours, and most people sleep for more than four and a half hours. So if you'd unlocked three slots, it's only going to go for about half the time you sleep, and then the, the machine will stop. So the idea is to make this machine, the sugar mill, unlock enough slots so it will it will keep producing, continuously producing all night. That's, that's in a previous video. Uh, what was it called? Uh, how to spend diamonds. Yes, that was that was the one. So yeah, check out that one if you want to know about what I was talking about in regards to keeping the, the machines going with different length products. But anyway, I'm going to go into the mathematical analysis of it for it being unstarred, starred, uh, this is for coins, and for XP. I'll be doing the first uh, the first XP calculation ever. Right, so I'll go over the calculations that I've already said in videos, which is unstarred. Uh, well, yeah, unstarred means uh, two stars or below because it's not the 15% bonus, and that's the big, big bonus, uh, which is the three star, which changes all the figures. Anyway, up to getting two starred, uh, two starred and below, brown sugar will make you 54 coins per hour. No! No, that's not right. That's really annoying. Hey, at least it, it, it didn't... Can we spin this again? No. <laughs> no, they know they don't want me to just keep spinning it and keep getting the thing. Anyway, uh, that's annoying. But, uh, so, brown sugar makes you 54 coins per hour. White sugar makes you 32.4 coins per hour. Syrup makes you 21.6 coins per hour. So that's all unstarred. Now, if, it, if you reach three stars, which isn't too hard to do on the sugar uh, mill... Uh, it, it goes up, and you make uh, more co uh, more coins because you're producing uh, more product in a shorter amount of time, which means profit per hour increases. Now, it, it would be common to think that it increases by 15% your profitability, but actually, uh, it's it's slightly varied. I will do an episode on that. It, it changes a little bit, but it, it's it's fluent throughout. It's an even increase for all of them of the same percent that it increases them. So, uh now, in, instead of, uh, so if I, if you know the uh, unstarred amounts that they make, it will be the same order of profitability whether it's starred or not. Uh, it just changes the amounts. So if the sugar mill is starred, brown sugar will make you 63.5 coins per hour. 
white sugar will make you 38.1 coins per hour and syrup will make you 25.6 coins per hour. Now notice that uh, the brown sugar jumped up almost by 10 coins and the white sugar only jumped up by 6 coins. That's because um, it's a percentage increase, not a coins increase, uh, just based on how mathematics works. It's not like, for example, instead of getting 54 coins uh, brown sugar per hour, it will get uh, 64 and white sugar getting 32.4 coins will get... Uh, 42.4 coins, it's based on a percentage increase, not just on total coins increase. It, so that's why it has a different variation. But they're still in the order of uh, brown sugar being the most profitable, then white sugar, then syrup. Now moving on to the XP, and I've never done uh, any XP uh, calculations before in any episode, but I'll be starting with the uh, sugar mill. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, tell you, I'm going to do uh, every machine, I'm going to do the same thing on where I tell you uh, all these figures, uh, the profitability uh, for coins, uh, unstarred and starred, and the, the amount of XP per hour for each product, unstarred and starred. And I'm starting with the sugar mill because I'm doing it when I unlock all the products. So for this one, uh, syrup is the last product to unlock in the sugar mill. And so every few levels, uh, different machines will have unlocked all their products. And that's when I will do the stats for the XP as well. Right, so brown sugar. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll just go on with this. Brown sugar will make you 12 XP per hour, unstarred. White sugar will make you nine coins per uh, nine XP per hour unstarred, and syrup will make you seven point three XP per hour unstarred. Now star, and so it's the same order. Uh, is, yes, it is. Brown sugar is also gives you the most XP per hour as well as the most coins per hour. But with different machines, it's actually different orders. Sometimes the first product does not make you the most coins per hour or the most XP per hour, and it's not always the one that is the shortest amount of time either. Uh, just because it just doesn't work like that. So it's good to know these things. Now, XP per hour, if it was starred, the sugar mill uh, would make the brown sugar 14.1 uh, coins per hour, uh, white sugar 10.6 coins per hour, uh, sorry, no, 14.1 XP per hour, 10.6 XP per hour, 8.7 XP per hour if the sugar mill was starred. So I'm not just making these calculations out of the blue. I have like, a, a, it took me a long time to work it out, but there's a special way to, that I've worked out and I will be releasing them throughout the episodes. All these different calculations, with it, which are extremely useful to know because it helps you make the most profitable XP, uh, the most profitable item if you're going for coins, and the most um, XP, uh, most XP rich uh, products if you're going for XP. So uh, brown sugar is a winner all round, but uh, although it is good to say, well this makes the most profiting XP, let's make brown sugar all the time, uh, since you can't always buy white sugar or syrup, sometimes it is necessary to produce white sugar and syrup because this is what I call an ingredient machine, so it means most uh, all of these things are used as ingredients, and so often you need to use those and if they're not available in the market, you have to make your own ingredients. Where some things are like the, the cake make or the pie oven, the pie oven, let's say, uh, none of these are ingredients. They are final products. And so that means that you cannot use them in anything. You can't use a pie in anything. That is the final product. Whereas brown sugar can be used in things. Same with white sugar and syrup. So with the... Uh, the, pre, the uh, ingredient machines. Another example of an ingredient machine is the dairy because you need cream for a lot of things, uh, butter for a lot of things, and cheese for, I think, cookies. I'm not sure if it's used for anything else or not. Um, but yeah, there's there's different... No, not cookies. Uh, I think it's used... Uh, cheesecake, that's the one. Cheesecake it is used. And so, yeah, ingredient machines, you sometimes have to make different things based on what you need. Uh, not based on what's most profitable, but since I'm using, I don't need hardly any ingredient ingredients. The only thing that I can make, I think, at this level, uh, that is using an ingredient is this one here with the brown sugar. So I, I produce brown sugar. It's a really good option all, all round. But as you level up, different uh, needs become necessary. Right. So now we uh, will. Uh, uh, we've bought the fields and we will buy the sewing machine which I'll put right there I still have enough room how many more machines do I need to unlock before level 22 it's only one more machine which is really good uh, maybe I'll unlock a sheep thing or something within that time but I'm getting pretty close I'm going to start unlocking these I'll have all this room like 
in there and in there and there and all those different spots it will be good because I'll be able to put my uh, my machines in there which will be good so that is it for the sugar mill it is a very very good machine uh, it looks pretty cool it's like you can just see it with the sugar cane just going like swallowing it up and just going bleh and it's just like splitting it in half and doesn't quite land in the in the pot but hey that's a cool machine anyway. Now, another thing is that with this here, uh, sewing machine, right, I'll just tap on this. So now I can make that, that, or that, and there's all those different things to make, and I'll just put some of those on. And as you can see, cotton fabric is the most profitable as it makes 43.2 coins per hour, and the blue woolly hat is only 32.4 coins per hour. So that's better to make. Now, I will do an episode on like for example this here you can it, it's a very interesting uh scenario because the sewing machine requires for every product that you make in a sewing machine it requires that you use cotton fabric so in order to have the sewing machine going you have to make only cotton fabric well generally mainly cotton fabric in the loom in order to have the sewing machine going so if you for example produced anything but cotton fabric since cotton fabric so rare in the market if you produced woolly hats in the loom then that will mean that you won't be able to you uh, use the sewing machine so the best option is to use uh, make cotton fabric and then create uh, cotton shirts in the sewing machine because uh, since we'll be unlocking cotton shirts now it's an extremely complicated mathematical equation the most complicated that I ever overcome or like worked out and was like whether it's worthwhile to use the cotton fabric in this uh, use just make cotton fabric to use in the sewing machine and I will do an episode on that because that is an extremely difficult question with so many different uh, factors involved but yeah so what you want to do is you want to use the cotton fabric make it in the loom and then use a sewing machine because if everyone did that which is a smart thing to do there would just be no sweaters there'd be no blue woolly hats there'd be no uh, blue sweaters because everyone would be making uh, well uh, making cotton fabric but since not everyone that plays heyday knows this information then there's always going to be players that keep producing the blue woolly hats and sweaters for us to buy while we're making lots of profit uh, making the cotton fabric and selling it off as different items in the sewing machine so yeah that is uh that is that and then as you can see pie oven is the other thing that i've got one star on which i'm happy about i, I like uh, getting stars it's a very good thing and i'll do an episode on mastery in the future as well so that is looking good. We have our awesome machine of, <laughs> I say this as all my other machines aren't going, but my awesome machine of the sugar mill going away, producing me brown sugar, awesome brown sugar, which I really like. And I still, I can't, I can't collect anything. I can't even collect my bread. And if I try and make more bread, it says collect items to free up production queue. And I can't collect them because my barn is full. So I will have to upgrade my barn and my silo. And then I'll finally be able to collect all these breads which are clogging up my, uh, I, yeah, that's been out of action, which is really bad. I should really have that going, but since I'm, since I'm upgrading my barn and the silo and the process, then I, I just accept the fact that making videos basically means neglecting lots of my, uh, animals and production machines and going against my rule of always keep them going which I definitely believe is very important, and I will be doing that when I have a big barn so I can always collect stuff and re-be re doing stuff, but I haven't got the time to just collect like one at a time and sell off one bacon at a time, so that's why they're not going. But always keep them going because it's a really important thing to do. I just can't quite do it very well because it's very inefficient with the barn storage. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you found those calculations useful for the sugar mill as I put some XP calculations in there and told you the updated ones for the, well, not the updated, but the extra ones for the starred uh, sugar mill. Uh, I've done, yep, it takes a while to work it all out, but I hope it's very useful and gives you a better idea of what you want to be producing. Now, that was just sums it up, and so please subscribe if you're enjoying, please like if you enjoyed, please comment about what you think about the sugar mill. This has been Super Sight, and remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.